animigos, and welcome to Keyframers. I'm your host, Stephen Shaw, but you may know me as at Shashaw. And I'm your host, David Korshid, also known as at David K. Piena. Right now, we'll be giving a quick overview of the techniques used to build this awesome animation. Our show is supported by our sponsors, CodePen at CodePen.io, CSS Tricks at CSS-Tricks.com, and viewers like you. You can pledge at Patreon.com slash Keyframers uh, to support us, and links are available below. Yeah, and hey, you can also watch the full process of creating this animation from scratch after this with a lot more details about each of the techniques that we cover, so stay tuned. If you have any questions, ask us in the chat or leave a comment below, and we'll be happy to answer. All right, let's talk about offset. Uh, so one of the things we're doing here in our, in our slide array, we're, we're mapping through all the slides and then giving, um, giving each slide the slide data and also an offset variable. And so this is uh, the current slide index minus whatever whatever this slide's index is. So if it's uh, if it's before this current slide, it'll be uh, negative one, negative two, and so on. If it's after, it'll be one and two, uh, and and going down the line there. Uh, so we we send that into our slide component, and the slide component applies that as a CSS variable. And it's also using it to track if this is the currently the active slide or not. Um, so if if it's zero, there's no offset. This is the center one. This is the the currently active one. Um, so we pass those through here, and then in our CSS, we can use that in a few in a few different ways. Uh, so the slide content here is what what we're actually translating off to the side and giving and giving these uh, 3D transforms to. Um, so we've got uh, we've got that happening right here. Um, there's a perspective applied here rather than globally because we're we're doing a background um, separately. You'll you'll see more on that in a moment. Uh, and then we're using translate x uh, using that offset. So if it's negative, it's going to be off to the off to the side here, and if it's positive, it's going off uh, in the other direction. And then we also have another CSS variable in play here. This dir. Um, basically, just setting um, setting the uh, a negative or or a positive uh, variable uh, based on if it's if uh, the offset is is negative or positive. We we just want uh, we just want one um, as as that value rather than like negative five or something like that, so that we can just do a little bit of a rotation without having to do uh, a rather extreme version of that. And then uh, that data active state, we've got that down here uh, to uh, basically remove remove the transform from it so that it's flat, and then uh, and then we apply that tilt uh, deal to it. But that's that's a separate thing we'll cover, um, and and we can also fade in the content and all that using that data active attribute. So this is a cool way that you can kind of use data from React, you know, whatever what the current active slide is and what the offset of, of these other slides are uh, to use in your styles to actually make the application work the way you want. If you want to see more about this whole process and you know how we set up the background and every, everything else in there, uh, check out the full live video. You'll, you'll enjoy all of our fun math problems. And uh, yeah, check it out.